Hi everyone, Hannah here, welcome back to the channel. For anyone that's new, welcome. My name is Hannah, I love all things Disney, Lounge Fly, Star Wars, Harry Potter. I have a Shop Disney order today and a backpack that I picked up from Forbidden Planet a couple of weeks ago that I have completely forgotten to show. But what also arrived this morning is a pin. Now I'm not a huge pin collector, actually I'm going to get it out of this packaging because it's going to reflect otherwise. I'm not a huge pin collector, I do get the odd pin here and there if I really like it or maybe if it's for a special occasion. I'm pretty sure, okay, maybe I didn't. I'm pretty sure I got one of the Walt Disney World 50th anniversary pins. I've got one of the Disneyland Paris 30th anniversary pins. A couple boxed ones here and there. So I'm not a huge pin collector, but every now and again, there is a pin that I just love. Now, this one is kind of exclusive to Disneyland Paris. So I did get this from someone who has recently been, and it's Sleeping Beauty and the three good fairies and it's got kind of Sleeping Beauty's dress with the pink and the blue I just thought it was beautiful absolutely beautiful it's so pretty because we did go to Disneyland Paris for a day back in July for the Avengers campus at some point we want to go back there for another we only went for the one day um, I'll put that back in there later pin now price is yellow so if you can see that yellow whatever yellow is, maybe about 10 to 15 euros. Not 100% sure when they're colour code things. We are hoping to go back to Disneyland Paris at some point. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, so this backpack I got a few weeks ago. I don't always film when I go to Forbidden Planet. Sometimes if I'm working in Wolverhampton for the day, I'll just pop in there on a lunch break, see what they've got. And I completely forgot to show this backpack before. No idea why it slipped my mind. I know Halloween has gone now, but Binks, Binks, Binks from Hocus Pocus. I saw it and I loved it. They do have a Binks kind of handbag that is this exact kind of silhouette where it's just Binks. I'm sure they have like a purse or a wallet as well where it's Binks, but I just love this one. Now I know Halloween's gone. I'm ready for next Halloween <laughs> very early. So here is the front. Binks is that front pocket and he has the black flame candle on there as well which the flame part actually has glitter in there I'm not sure if that will come up properly but the flame of the black flame candle hello sorry has glitter in there a bit too excited and at the top it's got the Sanderson sisters Winifred Mary and Sarah and they are flying on their broomsticks now I did recently watch Hocus Pocus 2 um, what do they all fly on now? Winifred does have a broom, doesn't she? Sarah flies on... Is it like one of those tile mops? And then is it Mary that has like the Roombas? Pretty sure it's something like that anyway. And it's so nice. Is that their house as well? Is that supposed to be their house with like a purple smoke coming out of the chimney? The sides are both plain, so completely plain on this one. This one has the Disney and Loungefly badge, and then the bottom is also plain. The back, so the retail at Forbidden Planet International was $79.99. If you're a Loungefly Club member, you do get 15% off, so worth it. The back says it's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus, and there is a cauldron for any witchy spells right there. So I'll do a quick 360, and then we'll check... The inner lining, because I haven't actually opened this one up, I kind of set it aside, meaning to show this one, and then I just never did. Oh, never mind. I'm showing it now. Better late than never. Did I just do two 360s? You can never see enough Binks, but Binks, you, I mean, you've already seen this. He's so f cute, and he's furry. Look at him. He's so fluffy. Fluffy like this spirit jersey, because it is remarkably cold right now in the UK some reason the past few days the temperature has just dropped so fluff and comfort what ears have i got i think i'll put the darth vader ears on just because they match the jersey i like to match when i can get rid of the packaging over there it says very tightly packaged 
which is not a bad thing. I am the sort of person that I will put the packaging back in afterwards so it keeps its shape. Otherwise, some, some more than others can kind of easily squish. But just putting the packaging back in will help it to keep its shape. If I can get all the packaging out, that is. This is a very dark inner lining. I'm probably going to have to do a flash picture. Oh! Stingy. What is this? Oh! Get off. What is this lining? There's a slip in a pocket, which is amazing. I feel like some dust has just gone in my throat. Excuse me. There is a slip in a pocket at the back. Now it is very dark and it looks like it's a black inner lining with binks and a cauldron I'm squinting a bit and an eye maybe it's probably not going to come up that well so i'm going to have to put a flash picture up voila so we can see that in the lining properly but binks has an inner pocket i'm just going to call it a binks backpack i know that it's kind of don't throw it into myself you know when you do something and your internals start jumping? I can feel my heart beating right now. Goodness me. I can't remember what I was even saying now. I can't remember. Mind has gone completely blank. So, Hocus Pocus backpack that I did get a couple weeks ago. I've shown it now. Right, let me grab the Disney order. Now, I did have to get this order out of the box because the box that it arrived in did get a little bit squished, shall we say. I haven't gotten everything out of the packaging yet, but, I mean, everything looks okay so far. Every now and again, Shop Disney will send in another box, like a coupon discount code that looks like one of those one-off ones. It's a big jumble of letters and numbers. I had an email with, was it 15 or 20% off the other week? So I did see a lounge fly backpack and I thought, ooh, 15, 20% off. I can't remember how much it was now. Rude not to. And then I think they've upped their free shipping. It used to be £50 for free shipping. When I did it, it seemed to be £60. Whether that's the new norm, I'm not sure. So I added in these ears, which were also on sale. Now I can't, can't remember how much I paid for these ones. They were originally £24. They were already on sale in the kind of heavily discounted section. I have a feeling I might have only paid about £6 for these ears. And it took, and I needed to spend another five-ish pound to get the free shipping. So in a way, if I was going to pay for the shipping anyway, I paid a pound for the ears. A pound? Why not? So yeah, original price £24. Obscenely long tag that tends to happen on the ears. I actually can't remember the name of these ears. You're going to have to let me know down below. But to me, they look like Snow White ears because of like the yellow, the red and the blue and the lace effect. So on the actual ears themselves, they've got like that beautiful lace pattern on both of them. And then those pretty flowers. And it's pretty much the same on the back. Just a couple less flowers, but the same pattern on the ears. Can you ever have enough ears? So ears, plonk those there. Lounge fly backpack. Yoink. Now, I'm going to get it out real quick. You might not be able to tell what it is just from there. But it's in the title and thumbnail anyway, isn't it? Snip. Is there just the one bit of tape? Now there is the one bit of tape, but it's kind of doubled up. Oh, oh, is it gonna just peel off? Yes, no, maybe so. We did it. Right, scissors there in case I need them again. Float away. Ooh. Oh, she's a beauty. Card. It is the Grand Floridian Loungefly backpack. This is actually really nice. Like I'm noticing more and more detail. It, at the same time as being a bit basic, it's very detailed. That probably doesn't make any sense, does it? This is really nice. Uh, is this a bit shorter than other Loungefly? Let me grab Binks. Maybe like a centimetre or so. It, I was going to say it does look a bit smaller. And some of the others, I don't know, I think it is, yeah. So it's a mini, mini backpack. And it's Grand Floridian, so it is a Disney Parks one. I've got to admit, I'm very shocked that this came to the UK website. Normally if it's 
like we do get Disney Parks items but this is specific to the Grand Floridian Resort I would kind of assumed that you could only get it at the Grand Floridian Resort I'm not mad about it not mad about it at all it's very beautiful very nice it feels different to this standard lounge fly material it feels of more of like a padded sort of material if that makes any sense at all it probably doesn't so this is the design it's obviously got the the g and the f for the grand floridian and then there's a rose on there and inside this flower they actually have tiny little mickey heads all over and then the front pocket has got like it's like a quilting effect where it's got the stitching and then little mickeys little mickeys just pushed in it's very beautiful very nice i like this one a lot the bottom is like that plain sort of blue color if i do a 360 this kind of gf pattern does go all the way around very beautiful there is not a price maybe around the 70 to 75 pound mark as a guess i really can't remember this is so nice i really like this one and that blue it's like a slightly dark baby blue with an ever so slight actually shimmer so it's not just like a matte sort of color it does have like a tiny tiny shimmer on there gold accents for the zips and we'll have a look inside see what's going on inside ooh yes lining there's a giant bit there blimey so the lining is the same design as the outside except the colours have inverted so it's this blue colour and then the detailing is white instead so that's the lining for this one. No pockets in this one, but that's fine. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this one was around the 70-ish pound mark. And then I either had 15 or 20% off. I really can't remember how much. But money off is money off. I really like that one. Side note as well, Shop Disney on... Oh, what day was it now? A couple days ago. Announced the October even though we're in November, they are a bit behind. The October Mickey Mouse Main Attraction Loungefly Backpack and the rest, like the plush, the ears, there's a pin and a key. I keep forgetting what's in this collection. They will be released on November the 4th, which is, that's this Friday, that's tomorrow. Yeah, it is. That's tomorrow. Woo. So tomorrow, 8am. However, they did say that the Loungefly backpack is going to be a pre-order. Now, they haven't said when it will be a pre-order for, but normally what they tend to do, when you go to the site and it's normally add to bag, check out, instead of saying add to bag, it will probably say pre-order and just underneath there, this is what's happened with previous pre-orders anyway it would say expected and then a date now hopefully it's not too far away because disney did previously release a statement if i can find that statement i'll pop it up don't know if i've still got it saved anywhere they did release a statement to say that we will have all of the remaining collection for this year before the new year so I'm presuming they will have October and November in November and then December in December because they've not kind of released anything to say that we won't get them. So fingers crossed. I mean, you never know, but fingers crossed. Also, on Saturday, I am going to the, is it Magic Market or Magical Market in Birmingham where it's like loads of Disney small businesses will be going there and have stalls there with things to sell and buy and buy the probably should have worn them today the ear the 3d printed ears that i normally wear by once upon a, once upon a craft uk she will be there kingdom threads who do some of my sweatshirts they will be there triton's treasures who actually haven't shown this have i got a new apple watch strap if i just 
take this off real quick. Look at this. Is it going to focus? Is it going to? It's not going to, is it? Right, well, I'll have to pop a picture of the strap up. Triton's Treasures will be there. Loads of others will be there. I am going to try and film it. I don't know if I'm going to be allowed to, whether I have to ask each stall, can I film? If I can, I will. I'll show as much as I can. If I can't, then I mean, you know me by now. I'm going to buy something, aren't I? So I'll at least have a video showing what I bought. Maybe I can at least take pictures there. I'm not 100% sure. We'll have to see on the day, but I am going to that. And I can't wait. So that'll be next Monday's video. And then next Monday, I'm doing something quite exciting. But that'll be next Thursday's video. So you'll have to stay tuned for that one. But thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for next Thursday's video. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.